guys in this video we'll be talking about command substitution talking about what it is and the use case so basically command substitution is used to take the output of a command and store it into a variable let's say for example if i should run this command just the uptime command uptime then i get the result out it shows um the uptime like how long the system has been on like for like um, 14 hours or so so we get the uptime however let's say i want to store this into a variable you might think if you use um let's say you call them up you declare a variable up and then you put it into uh declare a variable up and give out uh, this command uptime you might think that you are going to get um the output let's say you want to call up but we are not getting the results we are only getting the string so but in this case we want to get the string that's what command substitution does it's going to store the output or the result of this command is going to store it here all right and then a, the way to do it is very simple so when you are declaring the variable instead of using quotes there are two ways actually instead of using quotes you can use um you are going to use backtick backtick is um if you look at the key before one where you have tilde so instead of pressing shift to get tilde like this you just press that key alone and it's going to give you something we call it backtick it's going to give you backtick that's one way when i declare this variable like this and i call it later on then i'm going to get the output of this command instead of getting it as a string so we're going to get the output and this is very useful another way that you can declare or uh, you can use command substitution is um say you want to you want to use um um because you want to see when you run them um, free iphone name which gives you the memory give you the details here so let's say you want to store it into a variable the another way to do that is um using the pound sign i use the pound and put it into brackets i put it free i finish now this is going to start so if you echo if you use echo then you can just give the instruction echo mem so something is wrong all right data is free oh i think that's another instruction altogether so let's declare the variable again memory one so when you use memory one and then we call this memory one call this oh some shit is happening all right let's try another command guys <laughs> very fun so let's just use who So we now call the who command. All right. So basically, this is just another way to store the to use them um, command substitution. So you can either use backtick or you can put it in quotes as in, in uh, sorry in um, brackets and this. So when you call this, it's going to give you the output of this command, not the string itself. So that's what you are going to get. All right. So uh, we are going to use this in a file. So and um, you are going to we are going to create a file that is going to do this. Let's say. Um, yeah, and you can take this even further for example we have a um, free iphone m um, give you um details about the memory we have the mem this is the free the amount that is free let's say you want to get this amount that is free so we are just going to pipe this output into um grep and then use this mem 
then we are going to get this line after getting this line then we can get the column to get the column we'll be using the uh, arc arc instruction so we can just have our um, single quote this curly brace um end of quote and um, within that we can just um, print dollar four which simply means the fourth column this is the first one two three four so if we should hit enter now then we should get this as an output so enter then we get first it so this we can store the output of this command in something like let me say we call it um free hyphen free hyphen ram then we can use backtick don't forget you want to store the output you want to substitute the output of this command substitute the output of this command put it there then we are going to use backtick so we have free ram backtick so this very so when we use enter then we can just we have saved the output into free ram you now what we just need to do now is to call this and to call a variable just use something like um echo then we get our 78 so the purpose of this is that we can use this in a script so we are going to quickly write a script now just using this instruction so first let me just copy this so that i won't retype it in my script copy what we have here at the moment we just have these two cfg files so now we can make um let's just encrypt the script we can just call it um what can we call it let's call it um <laughs> memory script call it memory.sh all right let's call it memory.sh now we open the file press insert then the first thing don't forget is the shebang shebang now uh first spaced oh copy the wrong stuff all right never mind never mind insert so now let's paste Ooh, I think I copied the fucking <laughs> copy the wrong thing. Sorry, I think I copied the wrong thing. So, so what we are going to do is um, let's just type everything out. I thought I copied it. All right, echo. We have um, just caps free. Alphinagram equals to you know you start with back ticks. So we have a name then the first thing you are going to grab so now we are looking for the mem line then after the mem line you can grab the output as well now we are looking for the fourth colon which i say is just be use awk to use auto command so what we use to declare awk and within that you can just print dollar four so that's just it and then it ends with back tick you know this belongs to the awk command this code this back tick belongs to the command substitution so that's one secondly something else that you should do or even before this is that i want to welcome the user on the host name so you can just say echo welcome user on host name so now this is just um this is um this system variable and is different compared to other variables so all right so and then we are going to we have welcomed the user the next thing we have to do is just to like um let's put some space in all right so echo 
course then we have this so just bother to make the uh, output look more readable so now we have this that will give us the memory size this is just um it's a variable by the way command substitution was substituting the output of this command into this variable so we have not actually used the variable in any way so the next thing we have to talk about is uh, we need to declare a variable that displays something about the load time so and then we'll be using the back tick again here and then command is uh, uptime get the uptime then after the uptime we are looking for um the the night column here so arc. and then the single quote we need the single quote we have this and we have um point dollar nine so so don't forget the back tick so all right um back tick so so another thing is like we want to look for the um some memory so in this case let's use the second type of declaring command substitution which is shift and then we have um we have this so then we can start typing the command we want to substitute into this root free so we have um df i think h grep grep in this grep we are looking for a string so just use um first uh, this is dev um sorry dev for slash s dial i think it's s1 or so <laughs> i think it's s1 so i'm not so sure is that is dl or sda1 so so we can do that on the terminal later but so along with me guys then we are going to opt for the fourth line here as well so i'm looking for the fourth line all right so Alright, now we can use all these variables now. So just um, in a simple way, echo. We can have um, available free RAM is. Then we can call the variable available free RAM, which is this. So we can have um, free hyphen. Um, then we can have mb later which is a megabyte small time guest so now we can let's look for the load time as well okay load time so we can just say current load current load average is and lastly we want to give the root partition so we can just see echo with 
we go to partition size is all right now something else that we can just do last list to like um just we are going to copy this to copy this yy then p p all right so finally let's uh, make this executable and then um, see the output all right let's see mode x all right now let's um code let's run this script can you see we have um welcome root which is the name of the root the user then the host name we have that here and then we have the available free ram is 775 mb the current load average i noticed something is wrong <laughs> something is wrong all right here. the root partition size is 800 and 48 megabytes so now let's dfi finish i think something is wrong there yeah. dfi finish we are looking for this line so we are looking for this line i think it's sdl dev slash sdl and then in fact this is what we are looking for and then we are piping i think the fourth the current load of which Anyway, let's go back into the script and then um, see where we are wrong. I think this didn't come up up time. Okay. Root free. Okay, root free worked perfectly. We got that. The uptime, we didn't get the uptime the way it should. What could be the problem? Let's look into that. Let's look into that. All right. Uptime. WK. Single double. Quotes. Then we have a um, print. Print. Dollar nine, and let's see. We have an output. A com is not bringing anything in the code. It's acting funny. Anyway, just put this in the code, and then um, we have that.